Hi guys. Hi guys, it's Alyssa and Bonnie. So we want to talk about Zayn's new song. Yes, because we're obsessed with it. B4. Yes, and it's totally about how he left One Direction. So it's a little bit awkward, but he says it in the best way possible. And it kind of just like really makes me feel like he made the You're best frame, <laughs> he made the Melissa. best decision possible. Yeah, I I love I, I I just love it. Like it's my favorite since uh, Pillow Talk. It just is so haunting again and it feels so honest like he talks about being numb and he talks to be about being on this wire yeah. as if he was going to fall off. It's just I I think it's a really poetic way of talking about the emotional uh, the emotional torture he was going through when he was still with 1D. Yeah, exactly. Like he's talked about it in interviews before and he said all this stuff, but the fact that he was able to like put it into such strong lyrics, that kind of just made me feel like you did the right thing, Zane. Like my heart was hurting when he left 1D, yeah, but me too. I feel okay about it now. Lupita, I'm glad that you love Zane too. We, <laughs> we love Zane. We love him, and all his new music is so good. Like besides just the fact that the lyrics are incredible, he sounds better than ever. He sounds so good. In fact, a lot of the comments that are on Twitter are about the high note, yes. and that his fans are dying. Yes, <laughs> that so they good. are all they are on the floor over the high notes. Yes, <laughs> and like the album doesn't come out for another week, so he's released four songs so far. They're all amazing. And I can't wait Lisa, to hear. Here you go. I can't oh, wait to hear the rest. You. There you are. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to hear the rest too. But it, I really feel like he has a very unique sound. I mean, he totally doesn't sound like One D. These are not pop songs. Yeah, they are. They do have more depth. They're just. Um, they just feel as if they are coming from his heart. And I think we have to realize that. When you're an artist, like he's clearly he's an artist, he's a creative person, that it's not just a matter sometimes of the money and just staying with something right. because you're making money and it's working really well. Sometimes you just you 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 just can't. Right, exactly. I, I was thinking about this before, like it wouldn't have been good for his health if he stayed in one direction. Like he would have just fallen apart and been so drained. He's so much better off now. He's so happy. He's with Gigi. He has his yeah. own career and he really struck it with yes. like struck gold with Gigi. Yeah. She she is such a nice person aside from being so gorgeous. Of course. And obviously he feels so bad for Perry Hi, and that they went nine, through the breakup. Nine. I don't want to mispronounce your name. Um have you guys heard the song yet? Have you been on Hollywood Life? We've got it on site and you can click to listen to the whole thing. I'm wondering what you think about it. Yeah, what do you guys think? And Jan, we see your directioner, but do you like Zane? <laughs> Hi, Paige. <laughs> hey, Paige. Um, yeah, okay, hi. Wasim says that his high note, that Zane's high notes are higher than his grades. Oh my God, we well, got to get the grades up there. <laughs> so, yeah, have you heard it? Because, and are you swooning like we are? Did he change after he left 1D as a person? I don't think so. I think he's really being his his true self right now and I think you know he's he's pretty much the same as he was when he was in 1D if not more open than before I'm wondering do you think that he really was trying to diss 1D in some of the interviews he did and some of the songs or was he just being honest about how he couldn't li live that way and right. be in the group anymore? And he's just being honest, not that he's trying to diss them. Yeah, I don't think he wants any bad blood with the guys. I think it's really unfortunate that they haven't all stayed very close throughout all this. I mean, he's still friendly with Liam, um, but the rest of the guys he hasn't stayed too close with. Hey, which Ainsley is sad. says that she loves the song. Yay. Yay! Yay! And Heather loves Gigi, and she's so good for Zane. We agree. Yeah, she is a sweetheart. Yeah. Um. So I, I just I don't really think he meant to take a dig at the guys, and I think that they've unfortunately they've taken it that way, so that there is distance between them. But if you look like we we looked at the pictures of Zane in the last months that he was with One Direction, yeah, he looked like he was wasting away. Like I think of it was course, taking a yeah. huge emotional toll on him it was not a good time for him he looks so good now and yeah everything is just going really well for him we hope he keeps it up 
So um, do you guys like this song as much as Pillow Talk? I think Pillow Talk is honestly a genius yes, song. Yes, it's so good. What a smart song to pick as the first single. Like, he's really doing it right. It's so funny. A lot of you get, like, Tasha love Gigi and Zayn as yes. a couple. Like, you're not even being resentful of the fact that he has a girlfriend. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, which I love. I love that the fans are supporting him and Gigi together. They, they're the best couple of all time. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's, oh, look, that's... Bonnie, someone loves you. Tuna oh, loves you. Oh, <laughs> Tuna, I love you, too. Thanks for coming to Hollywood Life. Um, uh, I'm glad you guys are on our Facebook page, but I hope you come to the site, too. And we actually have here, I just want to read you some of the funny things that people have said about this song. Well, there, there's like one, uh, Donya D has like literally posted pictures of herself falling all over the floor, and, she's, and then she captions it, Zane's high note, like she is... <laughs> Lord. And then um, the Brit says, B4 is so addictive. The tune is so weirdly beautiful. I am dead. Oh it is weirdly beautiful. It is. It's like haunting. Jalene asked if, if we think uh, Zayn will ever go back to One Direction in the future. Probably not. I just wonder if any of the guys are going to go back to One yeah. Direction in the future. Because Harry's being considered for big movie roles. Liam's got the baby. They're so young. Yeah. So they could. And in fact, um, we had Joey Fatone in here the other day from NSYNC. And he talked about how when they split up, it wasn't really meant to be for good. It's just that other things started to happen right. for them all. And then they couldn't get... They just couldn't get it together to get back together. And so he thinks, you know, that could very well happen to them too. Not that it was intentional when they took the hiatus to never come back. Right. But that it's just life starts to go on and everybody gets involved in other other uh, projects. Yeah. And I mean, yeah, if worse comes to worse, maybe they won't get back together for a few years. But down the line, I think reunion's always possible. Maybe Zane will even be part of it. I mean, even NSYNC, they say there's still a reunion possible, so who knows what could happen. Now, Desiree is saying that she'd like us to play the album, but we can't play the album because it's, it's coming yet. out next week. It's coming but out next Friday. we are playing the song, this song, before on the site. Now, the interesting thing is the way he titles it. He puts out, like, B4, and then he makes the U really big. So, is it, is he, what is the subtle message of making that U? Well, and how he spelled before, F-O-U-R, which a lot of fans are saying means it's before One Direction had four people in it. Oh, yeah. before it had four people. So it's like how he felt before One Direction became a group of four. Ah, oh, I see. Yes. And I wonder what the U, like why the big U? Yeah. Is he why do you think that he did that, Alyssa? Any thoughts? I don't know. He's so cryptic with everything. His whole track list is written in like kind of a code almost with random letters capitalized. So, who knows? Now, Dana says she hopes one day and Zane will, will, I guess, be back together. I, listen, I don't rule it out, and I think that the bad blood, whatever bad blood that there's in, can definitely be overcome. Because, you know, time has a way of healing things. Totally. I mean, we have seen other people who were enemies like Taylor Swift and Kanye yes. become friends and then not friends again. <laughs> and I look at Amber Rose and Kim Kardashian. I mean, right. they've overcome their feud. Um, yeah, somebody's asking if we've heard the song. Yes, it's on Hollywood Life. Check May out HollywoodLife.com. It's yeah, there. May soon. Thanks. I'm glad <laughs> you love Hollywood Life. Um, but a lot of you feel like it's a 1D disc. I don't I just don't see it as a 1D disc. It's I not just, a diss. It's just his, his feelings straight from the heart. It's exactly. Um, well, guys, what do you want to see next for Zane? Are you all going to, are a lot of you going to rush and get the album? Do you what hope do he you, goes on tour? He's oh, performing at the iHeartRadio oh, right. Awards. And he's, yes. Yeah. That's going to be really exciting. As far April as we 3rd. know, it's the first public performance. The iHeart Music, yeah. Music Awards, April 3rd. 3rd. Yeah. Well, he performed on Jimmy Fallon. And I think he's going to be on Fallon again on the 24th. Oh, really? But this is his first award yeah. show as a and solo like, artist. It's right. huge. Big, big appearance. Yeah. I think that's really going to be... I mean, Jimmy Fallon's one thing, but you can't do your main thing. Like, right. That's like a practice. Yeah, totally. It's and we're, of course, at Hollywood Life going to be covering all of iHeart Music, uh, the award show. If you come to the site that night, we will have... 
like posts on every performance yeah. and videos. Oh, don't hate Zayn. One of you hates Zayn. Sophie's gonna buy his album. So are we. <laughs> Cannot wait. You like Jody wants to know if we like the song over and over again. Yes, we have played the song on repeat <laughs> over and over. So and we are I actually like it more as I listen to yeah, it more. Same, same. Because it sticks with you, just like pillow talk. Like now when it comes on the radio, I love it and I turn it up really loud. All the way up to ten. <laughs> so a lot of you, Dana wishes him all the luck. Do we like Sean Mendes? Yes, of we course. do like Sean Mendes too. Cyan, we see your comments. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so is there anything you guys want like us to cover here at Hollywood Life more or any other questions that you want answered before we sign off? Yeah, let us know. You're so cute. Oh, that's so nice Thanks, of you Nancy. to say that we're cute because I keep going, my hair, it's not quite right. It's kind <laughs> of a wonderful. weird angle that, that we have to do I know, these this on. Video is read an more angle. comments. Okay. Cyan asks us to read more comments, so we're reading your comment. Ricardo says he loves 1D. Sammy's laughing. Are you laughing at us? <laughs> and Nancy Lee <laughs> Kelly says we're cute. Yay. Okay. Well that on that note, we thank you very much for thinking we're cute. And Keep coming to Hollywood Life, our Facebook and the site, and let us know what you think of Zane's song before, is it before you or, I'm getting confused now. Before. Be, just <laughs> before. <laughs> I'm sure Zane's going to really want to know what, what yeah. you think too. Yeah, so leave your comments, guys. Bye. Bye.